We are at a profound turning point today in our culture. Our culture is caught up in an endless pursuit and obsession with productivity, technology, consumption, power, and control. But at what price? I'm Greg Nelson, and this is why I'm writing the book, The Strategic Stop, Taking Back Your Life in a World Obsessed with Busyness. This way of life has resulted in a profound disconnect from our inner spirit and soul. This is robbing us of what we hunger for and desire the most, and that is our essential humanity. What we need is to stop, what I call a strategic stop, to regularly re-evaluate who we are as individuals, as leaders, as teams, and as organizations. As a professional speaker, coach, and author, I've been able to work with and been trusted by the brands of companies like Walmart, Lyft, Fitbit, Amazon, American Express, working to maximize their leaders and their teams. So my book, The Strategic Stop, is essentially the culmination of learning I've done in helping leaders reinvent themselves their teams, and their organizational cultures in order to make sure that every person is valued, equipped, and engaged. I wrote this book to help people operate at their fullest potential so their lives become more joyful, more effective, and more fulfilled. And now I'm raising the finishing funds I need to hire a designer, a final editor, and to print the first run of the book. If you are someone who feels that we live in an always-on society, and would benefit from learning how to take more purposeful pauses for reflection and connection, I encourage you to back this book. And please share this project with your colleagues and peers, your family and friends. Thank you for your support and helping to make this project come alive. Hey, this is Steve Taylor, and as you can see in the box directly below, I've started a band, and I'm launching a Kickstarter campaign to fund our album. Uh, I'm a little nervous because it's been almost 20 years since my last album and tour, so I'm here at the Tennessee Department of Music Veterans to see if I can get my license renewed. 86. Hey, how's it Sir, going? this is the Department of Music Veterans. Please put on your sunglasses. Okay. And you need to be on your cell phone. You need me to call somebody? I don't care. Like this? Which license are you here for? Uh, license to rock, but it's more of an indie alternative thing. Stage props? Uh, yeah, I brought these heads from back in the day. Um, look like this. Pyro. From the heads? No. I just got a text. Purpose? I don't know, I just thought they were kind of cool. I could juggle them. That won't be necessary. Fill out these forms, they'll call your name. 87. Sorry. Steve Taylor. Follow me. Okay, stop right there. I'm gonna need 80% more swagger and twice as much indifference. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, sunglasses on? No. Yes. yes. All right, let's start with the random point. It's like Arc of Triumph. Wait, I think. The I flight like attendant strut. No, stop, stop. Just trying to help. Next time, don't. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm good. Uh, you know, it's daytime, but I... No, I need you to shout it. I'm good! It's daytime, but I'm... I need, I need for you to shout, how's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, oh, I totally get this, yeah. Wh wh here we go. How's everybody doing tonight? You know, this feels more like a hair metal kind of thing, is that... 
What did you say your style was? Uh, it's rock, but it's more indie, alternative. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you don't have to know how to play or sing. Uh, I just need to see a uh, highlight reel. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Play highlight reel. Sorry, I couldn't find highlight reel in your music. Play Steve Taylor highlight reel. I don't understand. If you like, I can search the web for Steve Taylor highlight reel. Yes. Hi, my name is Randy Ginsberg, and I'm the author of From Adversity to Advantage, How to Overcome Bullying and Pursue the Path of Entrepreneurship. I felt I needed to write this book because I had dealt with and still deal with my own struggles of overcoming adolescent childhood bullying. And at the time, being an only child, while I did have friends, there were not many, if at all, that I had to really let out my emotions and fully explain what I was going through. It was very empowering, and not only was it the fact that I wasn't alone, but it was also the fact of learning things about myself and these people from a psychological standpoint, where there are certain ways I act, certain feelings that I feel, and now understanding why I feel and act these ways in the same ways that the people I've spoken to and done research on, they all were feeling and helped motivate them to go and start their own businesses were consistent across every story. And this idea kind of light bulb into my head because it was personal and it was something that I had dealt with in the past and still deal with to this day. But at the same time, I'd always wondered if there were more people like me, if there were entrepreneurs who had been through these same struggles, yet no one really wants to speak about it because they're shameful of it or bring it to light. So it really turned from something that I was writing about myself in almost a memoir form to a way that I can connect with others around me and then help individuals as well. In the last five to ten years, the topic of bullying has gained a lot of awareness and a lot of attention and has become more prevalent in news, especially with the increase of technology and cyberbullying, um, increasing teen suicides and things of that nature. But there weren't that many things that focused on the positive aspects. There were a lot of prevention tactics, there were a lot of information about how it might psychologically affect you, but there were no stories that really talked about how to positively frame yourself and overcome these um, obstacles. And there was one book that was actually published by a social worker professor at Syracuse who I had the opportunity to speak to called Bullying Scars, and one of her chapters is called the po about the positives, and that was really one of the most important and amazing things in my research because she did have the opportunity to conduct her own studies and found that there really was an overwhelming amount of people who did grow from this and find that they were able to positively change their lives. In this book we dive into the realm of bullying and entrepreneurship and study the psychology and stories of successful entrepreneurs who were bullied in adolescence. Furthermore, we dive into how they were able to use resilience and cognitive framing to achieve post-traumatic growth that ultimately helped them succeed in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. If you are or have been a victim of bullying, you will definitely benefit from this book no matter what age you are because it's never too late to reinvent yourself, to take that leap, or to separate yourself from what you think to be 
a life-defining event. So this, I hope to be a resource for people to learn that there is a way to overcome this. Turning to lethal self-harm or harm of others is definitely not the answer and it should not be something that defines you, but something that you can use to your advantage to prosper. Hi, my name is Randy Ginsberg and I'm the author of From Adversity to Advantage, How to Overcome Bullying and Pursue the Path of Entrepreneurship. Hey guys, I'm Bailey James. I'm a 15-year-old country singer-songwriter. I'm originally from Pennsylvania and I moved to Nashville about a year ago. The reason I started this Kickstarter campaign was because I won't be silent. And I actually created a song called Won't Be Silent, which I am hoping to be able to record and also make a video for. Yes, I won't be silent, can't keep me quiet. It's a song about hope and finding light in the darkness and I feel like it could help a lot of people who are suffering with some of the same things that my brother did. My brother had been suffering with severe depression and self-harm for most of his life and I saw the pain he went through and I saw the struggle that he had every day. Last May, over a year ago, he committed suicide and that was just a burden on my family that we still can't fill to this day and we don't know how to fill. Howdy, I'm, I'm Kevin, I'm Bailey and Zane's dad and uh, Bailey, uh, the reason for this uh, Kickstarter campaign that she's doing today is that as a family we won't be silent. She's written a song, co-written a song called Won't Be Silent and with the donations that you make uh, today that money will go towards producing a song and a video uh, for that song that we can then use to get the word out and promote suicide prevention and awareness. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Teague. I'm a music producer here in Nashville. And over the years, I've had the opportunity to work with some of the biggest names and acts in the industry. We will be going into the studio, pulling together Nashville's best musicians, singers, and technicians in a recording environment that's turning out hit songs that you hear on the radio and online every day. The struggle that my son went through for, for many years with severe depression, self-harm, uh, was a battle. Uh, I, I often say that my son was like a, a soldier. The void, the pain that uh, it leaves for a family, for a sibling, for a father, is uh, enormous and uh, the importance of this is huge and what this can do to maybe help one person just one person is huge so that they don't have to feel the way that we feel if I can help one person if I can save one person's life that's me prolonging Zane's legacy we won't be Okay, now that you've looked at these videos, what I want you to do is think about which one stood out and why. Then, which one told a better story? Finally, which one of these projects would you back? This would be very helpful for my students to know what their videos should look like. Please send us an email at prototypeuniversity at partsandinfo at gmail.com. Thanks for helping out.